this is what my thali looks like it's a good meal and welcome to sugar spice nice my name is shweta and i hope all of you guys are at home and are healthy so in this video i decided to take you through all the meals that i eat today i've been trying to focus on food that helps me build my immunity so meals that are wholesome nourishing and basically a good balance of proteins vitamins and minerals is something that i try and include in my daily diet i've partnered with proteinex to spread awareness about some common power foods that are rich in proteins and vitamins and help strengthen immunity while we're at home you'll see all of these nutrient rich meals that help boost immunity in the food that i share with you in this video and honestly with all the daily work housework videos and uploads and various other things i find it very important to eat food that's rich in protein as it helps repair the wear and tear of the body and also vitamins as they stimulate the immune system so without further ado let's straight dive into my day I try and start my day with a glass of warm water with some lemon in it and this is like my daily dose of vitamin C vitamin C helps build immunity so you should also try and have this every single day Fruits are another great source of vitamins and I try to eat at least one fruit in the day Today I'm having some pomegranate as that's just what I have at home right now and did you know that pomegranate is actually considered a superfood it's got polyphenol which are strong antioxidants and it's rich in fiber protein vitamin c vitamin k and also really really yummy I do try and indulge in a good warm breakfast as well. For me, this is one meal that keeps me in check, whether it's cravings-wise or even in terms of energy to function through the day. Today, I'm making dosa from moong dal, which has been soaked overnight. Moong is a great source of protein, especially for vegetarians, and it's also a good source of antioxidants, which means great skin. To the moong, I also added some raw garlic and ginger, and these are herbs that add a good flavor and. And also have antibacterial properties. It's a simple yet tasty meal, and I love to have this with a little bit of peanut chutney, which I usually prepare and keep aside in the fridge. So whenever my meal needs like a good nutty flavor on the side, that's when I bring out this chutney. For me, moong dal dosa is kind of a step ahead of regular dosa in terms of its nutritional value and also in terms of taste. So today, I actually added a little bit of rice flour in the batter of this dosa, and they've come out a little bit more crunchy than usual. I'm enjoying this. Now, some days are really heavy. They involve a lot of housework, especially cleaning, and the amount of stretching and bending that happens while doing all of this housework feels nothing short of a workout. So on days like these, I like to have a more power packed lunch. Basically, something that gives me a good amount of energy. makes me feel good inside and is satisfying so something that's really quick and fulfilling is methi thepla or methi parathas whatever you like to call it some dahi or yogurt and a little bit of salad on the side so here i have some beetroot salad methi of any week is such an underrated ingredient fresh or even dry methi leaves are rich in vitamins and minerals and are a great source of iron which is so important especially for women and i like to add a little bit of till or sesame seeds and sesame seeds are also very high in protein fiber and calcium and i also make my theplas in ghee the world is recognizing the benefits of ghee and a lot of us shy away from it but according to ayurveda ghee is one of the healthiest source of edible fat and i love having theplas with dahi because it's just the simplest way to keep my gut clean and this beetroot salad is also really really simple just boiled beetroot and a little bit of lime a little bit of rock salt adds a lot of flavor and beetroot is actually a very good source of fiber which means it keeps you full for longer and is also rich in vitamins and minerals so i didn't make any extra sabzi today since i had to finish some leftover chole from yesterday 
and I also just took a little bit of chundo pickle on the side. And for me, honestly, thepla and dahi just by itself is such a satisfying, such a fulfilling combination. And the good thing is that this meal is satisfying yet not too heavy, which means I'm not going to be falling asleep and I can actually sit and do some work after this. On weekdays, I don't usually have the time to prepare an elaborate evening snack. And if I'm having my chai plain, then I know I'm going to be tempted to indulge in biscuits or something. So in order to minimize that temptation, I try to prepare something simple. It's usually these roasted peanuts. So I just take very, very little bit of ghee and roast them till they are brown like this and add a few spices. It's really that simple and it's such a good healthy snack. And peanuts are known to be a great source of protein. They keep you full and honestly, they go so well with chai. Very often my go-to dinner meal is khichdi. I love experimenting with different types of khichdi and off late I've been really loving dalia khichdi. Dalia or bulgur wheat is very easy to digest which is why I love having it at night. And I use yellow moong dal for this khichdi and whatever vegetables I have lying around. The thing about this meal is that it's the perfect weight loss or detox dinner since the overall calories in this are quite low but nutrition wise this is a bowl of gold. Firstly both dalia and yellow moong dal are rich in protein which means I feel full longer and no midnight cravings and the whole spices in this add a lot of flavor and a lot of essential vitamins and antioxidants and I added ample vegetables in this which apart from adding flavor also make it healthier. So a good warm bowl of this and dinner is sorted. So what I like to do is take my dinner, put on some CDs and watch while I eat. Now I know that's not the best thing to do but that's kind of like the only time right now that I can squeeze in for watching something. So I will see you after dinner. So after I've kind of wrapped up the kitchen and the rest of my work, I like to chill for a bit before I actually go to sleep so I could read something or I could just relax. And that's what I'm going to be doing right now. I do drink milk at night sometimes. Usually it's haldi dood, turmeric milk. But today I'm feeling a little bit full and I also had dinner a little later than usual. So I think I'm going to skip it and call it a night. But I do hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I absolutely loved filming everything that I ate today. Day and sharing with you guys the value of different ingredients and if you found that helpful then make sure you let me know that in the comments below and if you'd like me to film more such videos then let me know that as well and that is it from me in this video i hope you guys eat healthy stay fit and i will see you in my next video bye